is a lot of women here and in order to make yourself an exception you have to have exceptional rules and standards and you cannot waver on those standards like what I'm telling you it has to be like militant like if you're not going out after X amount of time you're not going out if you're not giving out before this amount of time you're not giving out like there is no talking you out your draws there is no talking you outside to do something hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to just kind of talk about some of the experiences I've been having while being single for basically the last two years living in Atlanta Georgia because you guys it has just been it has just honestly been so ghetto and so like the dating Olympics like it's such a finagle a process a, a understanding a like you it's really it's really a course it's really a course and it ain't a, it's not an easy course so I just wanted to talk about it a bit and give some of my insights on my experience and what I've learned and and, th and things I've had to change throughout the time so me naturally I'm a very open person I'm a very bubbly person but I have very like high expectations for people that I keep in my life because I'm a believer that everyone around you is a, ref a reflection of who you are and you make a choice ultimately to keep everyone in your life. So if you're dealing with a bunch of toxic people, it's because you're toxic. It's never a case to me where it's like them, 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 and I'm just an innocent bystander because we always have choice. We always have a choice of who we let in our life and we have a responsibility to ourselves if we love ourselves to make sure that the people that we're keeping in our, in our lives are of a certain standard that we keep and that we're keeping ourselves ultimately to that standard too so initially when i got to atlanta i was meeting most of the guys that i was dating like in a nightclub outing situation and I'm not saying that you can't find somebody of quality in those situations, but I tend to believe that if someone is out drinking, partying, listening to low vibrational music, because that's normally what it is, doing low vibrational activities, because that's just what drinking is, smoking, etc., then that's normally what's attracted to that. And me being completely honest with myself, in that time, I did, I did share in a lot of low vibrational things so i was meeting people that it was it was happening things were happening very quickly it was a whirlwind and things were ending very quickly and my heart it was weighing so heavy on my heart because it was it was like a it was like a flip of the script it was like one day you meet a guy he loves bombs you 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 know buying you stuff taking you out every single day and the next thing you know they disappear so you know i really had to learn through that process to like listen to what people say and not what they do first of all and take time like in my opinion they're there you know yes it's cool it's fun it's fairy tale like I really wanted this fairy tale it's fairy tale to go out with a guy every single day and y'all are having bomb experiences but some of these men they're just going out with you every day to make you familiar with them so that you can easily they can just easily get you out your draws period some of these men want to stay on the phone with you 24 7 so that it feels like they're dating you and they don't have a responsibility to actually get their booty up and take you somewhere that you want to actually go so that's why now like i'm not staying on the phone with you 24 7 i'm not fi we're not staying on facetime 24 7 we're not we can't go out every single day we can have our designated date days and i have i try i actually in the process of like trying to because i'm working so much right now that i don't even have date days but making a schedule where that is included but i think that that's very important like you don't want to constantly be available to anyone and especially not to someone that you might be interested in because then your time is not valued like that's just simply put it's like you're t you're just an option your time is not valued you're like always there always ready you know and i believe in hopeless romantics i really do in the core but living in a city like Atlanta where people like where men want things instantly and they get so much instant gratification you have to like set yourself up to be something different you have to set yourself up to be the exception to the rule there are so many women here like I know that is being run into the ground 
there are so many women there's some but there is a lot of women here and in order to make yourself an exception you have to have exceptional rules and standards and you cannot waver on those standards like what i'm telling you it has to be like militant like if you're not going out after x amount of time you're not going out if you're not giving out before this amount of time you're not giving out like there is no talking you out your draws there is no talking you outside to do something you know i stopped i stopped engaging in smoking and drinking with with men like that no i need to be sober i need to be sober because i need to know if i even really like you because half the time we don't even be we don't even like these people we're just experiencing these things and it's oh it's fun it's you know and and, it, and then it just goes from there it's just the vibe and so many people will say things like that oh well if, it, if the vibe's right i'm going with it no no it's not about a vibe it's like it's about self-love like does this person exceed the expectations that you have for yourself or at least do they meet it like you can literally vibe with so many people but so many people don't deserve you you know what i'm saying like so many people You can vibe with people, but that doesn't mean that people deserve your authentic, pure self. They, they really don't. And dating here has shown me that you have to create a bubble for yourself. You know, you have to create your, your space, your zone, create a process for yourself of loving, create a system for yourself so that you know what you're not going to accept and what you and what you will accept and stick to that like no other. And so I've just really been, I've really been practicing this and learning this throughout. Like it has not been easy. Like I have cried. I have been down and out because my, my spirit has almost been broken because so many people that I've put trust in, they were disappointing me. So then I had to look at myself like, well, am I disappointing myself in certain ways? Am I really trusting myself? And then I had to really like write it down. Like what? do I really want in someone? What am I going to value? What are my non-negotiables? What am I even doing this for? Am I doing this because I just want company? Am I doing this because I'm just lonely? Or am I doing this because I want to find a person who is equally yoked so that we can fulfill God's purpose in us for our lives? And once I establish that, it is so easy and so clear for me to, mm, that's not it. Mm, that's not it. That's not it. And that might not be your purpose to find your soulmate or to find the person that's going to help you fulfill your purpose through God your your mission right now might be I just want a man to take me out on nice dates but then stick with that purpose so if it's not a nice date y'all been going on date one day two day three and day four he's like mm, you want to meet me at the crib no I don't I don't want to meet you at the crib because that's still not my purpose to why I'm doing this I'm doing this because I want to meet nice people to go on nice dates and when the dates stop you stop so it's the same thing with me and my purpose when I align with my purpose of that I'm doing this because I want to fulfill my purpose through God if they are no longer for helping me fulfill my purpose with God then there is no more time or energy that I have to spend in this in this lane with this person to me that is able to x out so many toxic relationships in that process and through that process of really fine-tuning what your purpose is and what you're doing it for you're able to protect yourself because you're not easily able to be ghastly. You're not easily able to be derailed because you know exactly what you're doing it for. When you're confused about why you're doing it, it's easy for you to be like, well, why not? Like you're, it, it, the why nots can come in, the doubt can come in. But if you already know your why, there is no why not. So coming up with that, it's literally taken years to get to this place of why I even want a partner. Why I, instead of just it just being this is what I know, this is what I've heard. I don't I want to be lonely like really like down to the core of the why it's a game changer and it's like you you really can't be played because even if you are if you do get played it's like you already saw it coming like i had a situation where it was like uh, i kind of already knew this wasn't it and i still kept going and it's like that's I already knew it, it's no surprise it's no baffling because i already knew that this person wasn't the person that god had sent for me so why am I even here? God just removed them, you know? So it's been a huge transition and it's been a beautiful transition. And just dating like in a city like Atlanta where things are so materialistic and things are so transactional and people are so over sexualized and all that really knowing 
why you're doing it it matters so much because then you can easily eliminate the distractions you can eliminate the oh you want to just come chill oh you just want to come smoke oh you just want to grab a drink like if you eliminate all those reasons you the only people that are going to be able to resonate with you that you're going to be able to even be able to connect with are going to have to connect with you on a deeper level like immediately you know when i immediately tell people like there really is no like i really don't want to go on dates where we're just drinking or anything like that like now a man has to come up with another option it has to be he has to use his creativity he has to use some other form of like okay how am i going to get to know this girl and that has just like changed the game and elevated the standards that i even have for myself and I really had to do some deep diving into my own self-love and to what my own purpose was in dating to even be able to get to the, that point. And I really had to be hurt and broken down and disappointed time in and time in and time again and just really get fed up and tired of it and take accountability for that. I was also toxic in those situations. I didn't have good communication skills. I was dating in a very selfish way. Now, I, I do want to give to somebody else. I do realize what I have to give to somebody else, what I can do for somebody else. And that is immaculate. That is A1 standards. And so that's why I know like I'm not dealing with anything less than that. But I had to establish that for myself before I went out here and just started dating people. And I'm getting disappointed over and over and over again. And I really want to pinpoint down on the point that like, if you are constantly experiencing toxic situations, you are toxic. That's the end of it. There is something in you. You might not be violent. You might not be vulgarous. You might be some of those things, but you might not. And it just seems like people are, but you are accepting those things. Accepting toxic behavior is toxic. Being, you know, people showing you who you are and you not removing yourself if there is a negative thing that is a toxic trait but a lot of us do those things because that's how we were taught that love is that's what we were taught my phone's ringing hold on one second it is a struggle like i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and be like it's not a struggle but it's definitely a struggle if you don't have your wise you know it, it, it's just a lot of mess out here so in order to really eliminate the mess you have to just really fine tune what you're going to accept and not accept and if you say you want x y z he gotta have money he gotta have spirituality he gotta have fitness if, like if those are the things you're not unwavering with don't unwaver so i don't want to see you hanging out with bum diddy bum bum if you said you weren't going to date a bum i don't want to see you know like you have to have those things that are just like non-negotiable and that is going to save you so much time and heartache I am telling you because I literally know from experience because dating and especially in this city that I'm in it, it, it can be horrible it can be horrible the men and the women so men y'all can take this same information and flip it around and tie it up because it's this it's the same concept so make that crystal clear don't waver on them and I'm telling you it's going to save you so much heartache the reason why God the reason why God presented us with parameters is not to keep us in line or to keep us oppressed. It's to, it's to, it's to save us. It's to, it's to keep our hearts pure. Like, you know, things like abstinence, things like not altering your body, things like, you know, being modest. That's really for your own protection. It's not to, so that you don't have fun in this life. It's not so that you feel, you know, left out, not, you know, not drinking. It, it, it's, it's to protect yourself from this world, to protect you, to keep you pure, to keep you safe. That's why we have those parameters. So yes, those, those are those parameters and we're doing our best to strive to be like that but make sure you create the parameters that you can stick to and that you can stand by to protect yourself to keep yourself pure to keep yourself um not bitter because you don't want to be bitter and and mean and angry and then now you are now you're perpetuating the own ideas and, and manifesting the own ideas in your own head that are negative and because there are good men like so many women out here believe that there really aren't good men and so many men believe that there aren't good women but really that's just you need to work on yourself because those good men they've worked on themselves and they're going to look at you from a mile away and be like yeah she's toxic not dealing with her he's she um She's going to look at you and be like, he's toxic, not dealing with her. There are so many people that I've dealt with in the past that if I met them today, they wouldn't have a chance because I'm, I'm going to see it. I'm going to be like, yeah, 
you 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 talking about your ex too much like all you do is talk negative about your ex not dealing with that or yeah she you know you know like you don't want to be captain save a hoe like you know oh she needs help with all this stuff i'm that's not what i'm you know here for i'm here to be a man to her but not to be a daddy to her i'm not dealing with that like once you really focus on yourself and your mission and and get those standards and your why and, and heal yourself to a level things become so much clearer you don't have that same fog so you know there it is it is hard and it is work like it's actual work and you're gonna have to put in the work but once you put in that work you're gonna see your results and it's gonna be such a blessing that you gifted yourself that god has gifted you because it's just going to be so much smoother and then you can enjoy and you can be happy and you and the people that are surrounding you and the people that are with you you know that they're there in purpose and not just filling a space and not just for materialistic possessions and not just for the now and not just for sexual gratification so if the reality that you're seeing in your dating life is not what you want to see you can make steps to change that do not become the victim do not be the person that's like all of them all of these people all those know you because as soon as you point one finger there are three fingers pointing back at you all the time so you have the power to change your reality don't let things like social media television any type of outside narrative simmer into your brain and have you believe in that what you want and what you deserve doesn't exist but you have to hold yourself accountable and making yourself that person that deserves those things because we all can be picking up toxic habits it's a toxic environment that we're living in but it's our responsibility to clear ourselves meditate pray get grounded to create the reality that we want to see that's what i've learned you know in this process over these last couple of years while being single and really building my spirituality and my faith in God and, and dating with God right right over me and protecting me so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and were able to learn something from this video please leave a comment like and subscribe to my channel and have a blessed dating life and to my singles you know what i'm saying y'all stay safe out here y'all stay safe out here because it's crazy